Oh, unbelievable. The wedding of the century about to take place, and the mother of the groom is still hard at work in her office. I knew it. I knew I'd find you here. Sally, hello. Ooh, that's a pleasant greeting. I think that's the nicest greeting I've ever gotten from you. Well, it's a pretty special day. Nothing's going to bring it down. Not even Sally Spectra, huh? Oh, no. Now, listen, I don't want to be rude, but I'm just about out the door to get home to change for the wedding. Yeah, well, I can see that. But don't worry, I'm not staying. I just stopped by to give you this. Well, I'll very consider it. I'll make sure that Ridge and, and Taylor get it right away. Thank you. No, don't do that. It's not for Ridge and Taylor. It's something from me to you. No ticking? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sally. That's very sweet of you. Let's see. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> the shamrock. Guaranteed to bring you the luck of the Irish. Not that you need it. You seem to be on a roll. I think I am on a roll. I feel lucky. I can't begin to put into words exactly what this wedding means to me. Sure you can. How about one word? How about relief? <laughs> Rich, there you are. Hey, Dad. Where you been? Out. Wait, are you telling me you're just now getting in from last night? Yes, that's right. Well, you and Thorne must have had one hell of a bachelor party. Where did he take you? No, it's not like that, Dad. It's not? I went down to the marina to try and stop Brooke from marrying Grant. I think you better go now, Thorne. What are you going to do? What do you mean, what am I going to do? I'm getting married in a couple of hours. That's what I'm going to do. You don't believe me, do you? No, I don't. And I'm telling you right now, if it weren't for the fact that you were Ridge's brother, I would never speak to you again either. Why would I make this up? <laughs> because you have an agenda, and it's called Forrester Creations. You're so worried about the company falling into Grant and Brooke's hands, you would do just about anything to stop that, wouldn't you? That's not what this is about. My God, Taylor, I would never do that to you. I know what Ridge means to you. And if there was any way, any way in the world that this could work, I would be fighting for you, Taylor. Fighting like hell for you and Rich to stay together. But I swear to you, this has nothing to do with Forrester. It has nothing to do with anything but you. I do not want to see your world fall apart again. And it will if you marry my brother. No, Thorne, it will if I believe what you're telling me. You want me to believe that on the night before my wedding, my fiancé goes down to a marina to stop a woman that he used to love from getting married? Oh, yeah, if Fridge were to do that, no, he, he couldn't do it. He, he wouldn't do that. So, then it's possible that they didn't get married. Well, if Ridge made it down to the marina in time, yes, it's possible. Wow. What a romantic story. It's a tragic story, Megan, for a lot of people. Look, I'm sorry. No, no, it's not just tragic for me. It's tragic for Grant and Taylor and everyone involved. So I guess you're hoping that Ridge made it in time. What, you mean because of Grant and me? Yeah. I'm certainly not counting on that anymore. Michael, I. Michael, this is Claudia Cortez. Claudia, where are you calling from? The police station, have you heard? That you were arrested? Of course, everyone knows. Michael, I need you. Can you come down here? Oh, Claudia, shouldn't Thorne be the one No, who... no, Thorne's brother is getting married today. I do not want to bother him. He's done more than enough. Michael, please. I really need you. Yeah, sure, sure. I'll, I'll be right there, okay?
Relief. I suppose so. No supposing about it. Why wouldn't you be relieved with Brooke Logan safely married to another man? Have you heard anything about it? About Brooke's wedding? Well, I thought perhaps something you might have heard on the radio. No, no. Nothing I noticed. Nothing I noticed. Why? Oh, I don't know. I, I'm just, you know, I want to make sure. You want to make sure the wedding actually took place? Yes. Of course it took place. Why wouldn't it? Indeed. Why wouldn't it? But why do I sense some anxiety here? Come on, Stephanie, there's no reason for it. No need to be concerned about Brooke Logan. Not now. Until it's signed, sealed, and delivered, and they're on a plane on their honeymoon, I'm going to be nervous. Well, I don't know why, because this wedding between Taylor and Ridge is going to take place, and it's going to be the wedding to end all weddings. You know why? What is it that you want for your children when they grow up, when they start out on a life of their own, and, and they decide that they're going to be married? You want them to find the right mate. It's so important. <sighs> when he was married to Taylor before, he was secure and confident. He was focused on his life, on his work. He wasn't that way before Taylor. And he certainly hasn't been that way since the divorce. So, you still concerned that maybe he hasn't gotten Brooke out of his system? No, he's got her out of his system. Sure he has. Way out of his system, way out to sea. <laughs> and with another man's wedding ring. So, I think this looks like a perfect day for you, hmm? This is going to be a wonderful wedding. It's going to happen. And I think you should just relax and enjoy every minute of it. I will. I will do that. Good. <laughs> You tried to stop Brooke. Yeah, but I didn't get there in time. Why, Ridge? Why? Because she belongs with Grant like I belong with a Siamese cat. Ridge, that was her decision. But it was a bad decision, Dad, and she's made a bunch of those ever since she met this guy. Anyway, hell with it. Maybe she deserves him. Where's my best man? I don't know, Ashley. We better get back here quick. I've got a wedding to get ready for. Ridge, if I haven't told you, I think it was an excellent choice making Thorne your best man. I'm, I'm glad you were able to rise above his attitude. About me and Taylor? Well, he's entitled to his opinion now, isn't he? Yeah, but once you were engaged to Taylor, he should have kept it to himself. Yeah, well, he's a forester, Dad. He's stubborn but loyal. He'd never do anything to undermine me. No, of course he wouldn't. I'm just proud of the way you handled it. Let's get this show on the road. I'm tired of all these dramatics. I want to get my bride to the altar, marry her, and get on with my life. You make it sound like a two-minute drill here. I'm just tired of dragging it out. I made a commitment to Taylor, and I want to honor that commitment now. But before I do that, I'm going to take a much-needed shower. Rich. Congratulations. I feel good about this, Dad. I really do. Are you sure? Are you positive that Ridge went down there to stop Brooke from marrying Grant? Yes. But you didn't see him go down to the marina. No, I would have if I hadn't had car trouble. We broke down and he took the motorcycle from there. Alone? Yes, alone. Because he was so convinced that Brooke was making a mistake. That's true. But Taylor, there was only one way he was going to be able to stop her. Brooke made that very clear in the letter she left him.
Excuse me. Yes? I'm here to see Claudia Cortez. They're bringing her down. Are you a friend of Miss Cortez? Yes, I'm Michael Lai from Forrester Creations. I'd like to ask you a couple of questions. Well, should I have an attorney? Did you do anything wrong? Of course not. Then you don't need an attorney, do you? Tell me about this lady, her family, where she lives. Michael. Michael, thank you so much for coming to pick me up. They would not believe me that I have no family in America. They wouldn't? But you know differently, don't you? You have no right to question her. She is here to give me a ride. And I am free to go now, so let's go. Not so fast. Your friend has a deportation hearing next week. You're deporting her? She's here illegally. I suspect she has a family that's here illegally, too. No, she's a political refugee. It's not how the U.S. government sees it. Well, the U.S. government is wrong. Because if I am sent back, I will be killed, and that is a fact. Look, I'm sorry, but I can't help you with that. We have laws here. You broke them by working without a work permit or a green card. I suggest you get a good attorney. And if she makes the mistake of not showing up at that hearing, you're the first person I'll come after, Ms. Lai. Basically, what you're telling me is that at this very moment, it's possible that Ridge is married to Brooke? I'm only repeating what was in the letter. That the only way that he could stop her from marrying Grant was to come down there and make his own commitment? And he did go to the marina. Now, whether or not he got there in time, Taylor, I don't know. So from your point of view, he's either married to her or he's devastated. I'm sorry, but yes, that's the way I see it. You realize if any of this is a lie, uh, If this was a lie, I not only don't deserve your friendship, I deserve your hatred. You know, maybe after he got the motorcycle and, and he left you, he, he changed his mind. It's possible. I'm grasping at straw. Thorn here yet? No, he's not. It's weird. He's my best man. He should be here by now. Maybe he had car trouble again. Who are you calling? Taylor. Hello? Hey, it's me. Taylor? I think you better come over here, Ridge. Are you alone? No, Thorne's here. What's he doing there? Just come over. Dan, I'll see you at the church. Glad you're here. Where's everyone else? Ridge just left. Oh, um, did he go with uh, Thorne? No. Oh, he's on the way to the church already? No, I don't think so. I think he's on his way over to see Taylor. Oh, no, not before the ceremony. Uh, Stephanie, he just spoke to Taylor on the phone before he went over there. I got the distinct impression there was someone there with her. Who? I'm not sure, but I think it's Thorne. He's not going to make trouble about this marriage, is he? Well, he's absolutely sure that Ridge is not doing what he truly wants to do. Well, he's wrong. He's wrong. And besides that, it isn't his business. Stephanie, there's something else. What? 
Ridge went down to the marina last night. He wanted to stop Brooke from marrying Grant. No. He wasn't there in time, and the boat had already sailed. Oh, thank God. What did he think he was going to accomplish? You know how he feels about this. He's so protective of Brooke. He hates Grant, and he thinks Brooke is making the biggest mistake of her life, marrying Grant. And so he tried to stop the wedding. <sighs> thank God he missed the boat. Oh, yeah. oh, please. Let us just get Ridge and Taylor married tonight. Please. Then let's take a vacation. I think I could use one after this. Well, I'll tell you what. This is going to be a beautiful, glorious evening tonight. Let's just relax and enjoy it. <laughs> then we'll talk about taking a vacation. <laughs> Best man, I need him to do some things. We need to talk. I'm getting married in a couple of hours. Where's the tux? Where's the limousine? I know these are all things I can do myself, but there's a certain tradition involved. I kind of like that. I, I need to ask you where you went last night. Hmm? I said I'm asking you where you went last night when you were out with Thorn. What did Thorn say to you? I'm the one asking the questions. Doc, I need to know what he said. It doesn't make any damn difference, because if he's lying, I'll deal with him myself. What happened last night has absolutely nothing to do with me and you and what's going to happen tonight. Doc, it's our wedding night. We're getting married. Forget about last night. It's not really relevant to you and me at all. You don't want to tell me. Which means you're trying to hide something from me. All right. I went to the marina with Thorn. No, you didn't. You went by yourself. Thorne was driving. Yeah, until the car broke down or whatever it was, and then tell me what happened. He told you everything, didn't he? I'll tell you exactly what happened. You stopped some guy on a motorcycle, and then you paid three times what the damn thing was worth so you could get to the marina on time before the sun set, because it was that important to you. Yes, it was. Because that guy is no good for Brooke. Grant is a user. He's going to use Brooke to get back at me, and he's going to use her children to get a foothold in our business. I went down there, Taylor, to stop her. That's all. No, but you knew you couldn't do that, not without making a commitment. You knew that because that's what she wrote to you in the letter that she left you. She loves you, and you feel the same way. And that's exactly why you went to the marina, because you knew you had to do the only thing you could do to stop her from marrying Grant. So did you get there on time? Taylor, it's not no, like that. No, I don't that. give a damn. Just tell me, did you? Did you stop her? No. Well, then I'm sorry. I am really, really sorry for you, Ridge. I guess you just lost the only woman you ever really, truly ever loved. 